Frankie, we're gonna try to mix macaroni and cheese and stuffing today on Box Mac. <laughs> It's that time of year for a stupid costume. And a questionably stupid Mac. We did a cranberry turkey one yep. a couple of years ago. Which I really didn't think was bad, but it wasn't that popular. No, no, it, it was not good. I taste zero cheese. I can't taste cheese. Um, I like it. Don't so you. Yeah, but you, <laughs> in terms of what would go well with cheese with pasta, yeah. suddenly I started to realize, wait a minute, stuffings are part of casseroles, macaroni sure. and cheese has a close cousin called yep. the casserole. So I, I just threw that at you. I said, stuffing mac. I think we should do a stuffing mac. You're giving me some ideas here. There's some stuff there. In the more Portuguese area of Massachusetts, yes. everybody goes for a charisse stuffing. And that's delicious. It is delicious. It's not what we're gonna do today though. I thought about several different meats and I thought that in the end, it would end up tasting just like that meat. I wanna really emphasize the herbs. You want like a very garlicky, oniony stuffing? Yes. And then we're gonna interleave that with Matt. These are just what John always buys. He doesn't experiment really. What He's do you like, mean? oh, it's gotta be a cabbage cheese. I've got celery. When have I ever used celery on this show ever? All right, fair enough. Fresh parsley, Frankie. Kate's butter. <laughs> I did pick a newly introduced Cabot product. Cabot Fiery Jack. Ooh, you want it to be a little spicy? A little bit spicy. I think a little bit of extra spice will do nice. Habanero cheddar and Monterey Jack, which is the perfect mix for macaroni and cheese. Yeehaw. It's just a mac and cheese and then there's stuffing on top or what do we no, do? No, it's a little more than that. I'm gonna put a layer of the stuffing down. I'm gonna drizzle it with some of the cheese sauce. Then a layer of the pasta and mac, uh, pasta and cheese. Pasta and mac, uh, pasta and cheese. Another layer of stuffing, another layer of mac and cheese, and then finally a layer of stuffing. A macaroni so, and cheese stuffing lasagna. Pretty much, uh, and. That's really weird. It Let's is? see if it's good. I thought through the other possibilities, right? Which is just you mix it all together with cheese, and then what you end up with is mac and cheese with bread in it. Fair right? enough. Can I pause you for a second? Sure. Nina's shooting, and your giant loafers were like in the way. Yeah. And she had to like, like a ballerina, use her feet to move them out of the way. Did John just abandon his shoes in the center of the kitchen. No, I just, I, yeah, yeah, basically. We know people do meat stuffings. Is cheese ever integrated with stuffings? It doesn't seem to be from my- Why, why? It doesn't it seem obvious? I think at that point you're getting real close to just a general casserole. Casseroles are very welcome at the Thanksgiving table. Sure, absolutely. Green bean casserole. Yep. Which by the way, we could do that for a mac and cheese. Oh, that's a weird one. Sweet potatoes. That would not work as a macaroni and cheese. No, no. I did have one other thought. Yeah. Maybe we could someday, at a future Thanksgiving, sure. stuff a turkey with macaroni and cheese. That is entirely possible. I mean, yeah. I think that if this recipe works out, right, you could prepare it in your dish and then scoop it into your bird. You put it in the bird and then cook the bird? Yes, that's the way it does. So you um, poop back and forth. I want to poop. Back and forth. What? <laughs> it adds substantial baking time to the turkey because you have to make sure that stuffing reaches that 160 degrees. Have you well, ever made a homemade stuffing? I have. I always use this because I've done the bread thing and it really doesn't come out any better. What made you choose Arnold's? It was the first one I saw and I like that it's pre-seasoned a little bit. Nice. Yeah, everybody thinks you look like John Candy. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles is probably like the most Thanksgiving movie that exists. That's true. That's a great film. I have a small Plex library of Thanksgiving movies. Best in show and that's a deep cut. And everybody knows this. After the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is the dog show. Yep. So Nina and I have decided that the dog show movie should also be a Thanksgiving movie. That's a bit of a stretch. He's gonna flip out! It's not in here. Go to the hotel and get busy me! There's Free Birds, the animated movie that's, that's really quite vegan. You did it, Reggie. You saved us all. Actually, I did. Yeah! Home for the Holidays, which I haven't watched yet, but it stars Robert Downey Jr. There's some Katie Holmes movie that Google said is a Thanksgiving movie. And then you have your television. So you get your Boy Meets World episodes, you get your Home Improvement episodes. South Park has a lot of good Thanksgiving episodes. Yeah. Their best one for sure is the History Channel one when Miles Standish comes through time like Thor. And they have to convince Natalie Portman to go through her wormhole. Please, Miss Portman, you've got to open your wormhole right now. Mm, uh-uh. Mm, mm -mm. Celery, it's a critical part of stuffing. Disagree. Yeah, I don't like when I bounce into a big piece of celery and somebody's stuffing. Well, you're gonna today. Well, as long as it's nice and soft. Yes, that's the idea. We're definitely gonna pre-cook this celery. You ever have a really bad stuffing? Be real. Yes, I have. It was a, a meat stuffing. And it you, softened it too much? It was, it was just a big pile of mush. Yep. Ground beef like nowadays, like I said before, doesn't have a lot of flavor. And so it was a flavorless pile of mush. No crisp, no crust, no nothing. Gotta have that salty flavor. And we're gonna have that today because we're gonna be using chicken broth on that stuffing. I gotta tell you, 
Stuffing for me, it's probably my favorite thing on the table. Really? See, I love a good mashed potatoes with gravy. Also love it. Don't make me choose between them. <laughs> but I'd say the stuffing is definitely right up there. And then I grab some turkey. But... If the turkey is excellent, I will have, I'll, I'll vary the turkey based on its excellence. Yeah, very few people cook it right. That's absolutely true. Unless you really get the dark meat, which is usually always tender. It's mm -hmm. hard to screw that up. How about gravy all over your stuffing? You like that? Yes, I do. Like a traditional turkey gravy made with the turkey. You're not gonna get a thick gravy out of a turkey. That's fine. I don't mind because I, I wanna eat it quickly so I can get that crispness. Yeah, we've learned so much in this kitchen and we have so much false graph at our disposal. It's true. We could host one hell of a Thanksgiving oh, meal. Oh, absolutely. A red cow Thanksgiving meal. Yes. So that would be the ultimate fan meetup. Just everybody's invited. Okay. The giant table, because we got plenty of false craft. Everybody goes to sleep at like 4 p.m. Yep. And then we're, everybody gets up at 4 a.m. Black Friday. <laughs> Can I try a little bit of the fire jack? Sure, go ahead. I've got my cup of uh, onion here and my cup of celery. It's going in the butter. Ooh, the fiery jack is delicious. Mmm, very nice. Yeah, just a tiny bit of spice. We live in Massachusetts and we had an earthquake. We never have earthquakes. We had an earthquake this morning. The biggest one I've definitely experienced around here in my life. Every time we've ever had a little earthquake, everybody's like, do you feel that? I'm like, no. This morning, Gloria's in the living room watching Toy Story 3. Nina and I are in the kitchen in our PJs and we hear, <laughs> and it keeps going. Yep. And we both just, <laughs> you start cycling through possibilities. Yes. You're like, is my dryer blowing up? Is my yeah. furnace is blowing there, up? Is there like a big fire? Did a plane crash is was it, another one that came to my mind. Is a massive truck driving by. Yes. There was kind of that like initial instinct to evacuate the house. Yeah. And then about 15 seconds later. It was done. It goes away. Yeah. You took your healthy food and you threw it in butter. Oh, you know it, Nina. And I've got some garlic here. I got four pretty large cloves of garlic. So you put it in there and all you got to do is squeeze it over the pan. Wow. It takes a bit of hand strength. Which I, by the way, I, I have none. Would you like to hear a story about what this costume is? This has an historical red cow significance. When I was in film school, I had to shoot a movie on 16 millimeter film. I think to shoot five minutes was like $200. So I came up with a concept for a short film that would be entirely outside so that we didn't have to worry about lighting. I was like, well, what is a short film anyway? A short, and I think we've learned from no views, a short film is really just a punchline. Yeah. So I was like, I'll just take some corny joke. I read one about like an ostrich. At the time I was like, I'll get a real ostrich, you know, from like, yeah. one, like a local farm. Maybe oh, we'll, sure. we'll shoot with a real animal. That'd yeah. be amazing. At the last minute, I was like, there's no way we're gonna be able to accomplish that. And so I said, well, I'll buy an ostrich costume. And there, on eBay, there was no such thing. Yeah. So I bought a turkey costume and rewrote it to be turkey. And by the way, unfortunately, I do not have at all a good copy of that movie. Yeah, I have a copy that. of that movie, but- Who has the 16 millimeter copy? I can't find it. I think I might have at one time. And then a couple years later, Nina ran one of those 5K turkey trots. Yeah. Nina ran a 5K with this thing on. Okay. Is what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Frankie, I'm gonna show you a product I don't know if we've ever used before. What do you got? It's called Better Than Bullion. And normally if you're gonna make broth, you'd use bullion cubes. And this is basically full bullion that's been reduced down. I love this hot water boiler. I think you're onto something with uh, trying to give it a little bit of a, a chicken note. Oh yeah, give it a smell of that broth. Yeah, it smells like a uh, chicken soup. Like a lovely chicken soup, yeah. right? And if you wanted to make a quick chicken soup, you could just do it with just this, some chicken and some vegetables. It's chicken okay. soup, man. I don't know if it's because it actually is effective in stopping colds or whatever, but like when you when you breathe in a bunch of chicken soup, you're like, I'm healthy again. Yes. Which is really kind of unkind to the chicken. You're like, you give me life. <laughs> So are, are you gonna be violating any COVID guidelines this Thanksgiving? We're gonna do it in an open garage uh, with some, some propane heaters or something. So you're getting the best of indoor and outdoor. Yes, we're trying it. You know, I don't know that it's necessarily worth having to wear a mask absolutely everywhere, but I do kind of like the, the byproduct of never really getting sick anymore. I'm really looking forward this year to hopefully not getting a yearly cold. I always get at least one cold during the winter. And it really messes you up, doesn't it? It just sucks. It does for me. You're achy. You gotta blow your nose all the time. Public speaking with that crap? Yeah. So I have a somewhat nasally voice already. You know, I kind of speak in my throat. Yep. My name also has kind of like a hard vowel. Yeah. Like Frankie. Frank. If I have a really stuffy nose and they're like, all right, we're just gonna go around the table. And I'm like, man, Frankie, Frankie. <laughs> and almost always they're like, your name is Freddy? Frankie. I hate that. So I have to go real denasal with it. I'm like, hi, I'm Frankie. Hi, I'm Frankie. I'm, I'm Frankie. Ready for some stuffing cube action, Nina? This would just be a stuffing, yeah? Yes, but I've kicked it up in a few dimensions. We've used that high quality bouillon. We've used garlic where it didn't originally call for garlic. And we're gonna do one more thing, Frankie. What? I'm gonna add an egg. I'm gonna crack it right into the stuffing. Look at this. And then we're gonna mix it thoroughly in. 
Did you see the level of confidence he had with that egg? You ever done this before? No. We're just making it up? Just making it up. I'm contemplating one more egg. I think we'll be okay, though. One more egg. One, one more egg. egg. All right. One more egg. All right. Oh, now it's too eggy. Oh, no. It tastes like breakfast. Three eggs? No, no. One more egg. I'm not doing one. it. You wouldn't want to be excessive. Oh. There's a wonderful episode of Tiny Toot Adventures. Yeah. Buster tells a lame joke. The lame joke manifests in the form of a clown that's crippled. Buster, not that lame joke again. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is a lame joke. That was on an episode called Henny Youngman Day. Basically an 80 year old comedian came on as their teacher and he was a chicken. I'm from Flushing, New York. Anybody here from Flushing, New York? I used to be a journalist there. I wrote for the toilet paper. That's funny, I like that joke. <laughs> you gotta have good diction. Now you put 15 marbles in your mouth and you talk. Every day you remove one marble. When you've lost all your marbles, you're a pro. I got good news and bad news. The bad news is your joke's dead. The good news is, who cares? Now this is not necessarily something you should do at home, but I'm gonna taste this stuffing just to see how it is. And? It's good. It's very good. The two eggs shine through. So there's a lot of good stuff going on in that stuffing. <laughs> but once it starts adding cheese and pasta, it could all go south, folks. John and I and Nina went to the Mayflower. By now, you will have seen that show. Yep. It seems Ocean Spray Cranberries is out there, too. Right there, and as is Cape Cod potato chips. So it's actually mind-blowing how Thanksgiving that area really it's, is. It's got Plymouth cranberry sauce. It's pretty awesome. The, the stars aligned to make it Thanksgiving town. But Thanksgiving as a holiday just doesn't get the push that Christmas and Halloween do. Yeah. I'm kind of here in this costume to change that. Frank, I got some fresh diced parsley here. I'm gonna spread this over each each stuffing layer here. Now, what are you doing that for? You don't like fresh parsley? Nah, not really. While we're on camera, can we do a little bit of business? Sure. Last year, the eggnog mac didn't go well. No, bad. It shocked us into a situation where we said, as you put it, we should go back to our French mac. Yeah. Baseline. Baseline. What we need is normalcy. We all know this. Yeah. Especially after 2020. Oh, yeah. But can I add one level of complexity? What is it? What if you took that French Mac, Jonathan yeah. Hunt, and you also shaved away a ton of Utz cheese ball cheese, and you put that shit in there? <gasps> I'm no cook. Yeah. But I am a what if man. Well, we're really more sort of idea people, you know? Yeah, ideas. ideas. Yeah, ideas. Yeah. Are you at all worried about the interaction of cheese and stuffing? Yeah. He's getting the fiery Jack in there. About half of the Monterey Jack. How do you feel about Monterey Jack, the character from Chippendale's Rescue Rangers? Uh, I, I think he's awesome. You actually kind of have a Monterey Jack vibe. I do have a little bit of that vibe. He wasn't like my top character in that show. I think Chip and Dale were. Yeah. Or maybe the singer of the theme song because he was incredible. You ever listen to like the three minute version of that song? Oh, it's so good. We're doing it, Frankie. Ready? More, all the cheese. All the, all the fiery Jack. And I also want some salt. Jesus Christ. It wasn't that much. It went on about as long as that earthquake did. <laughs> Put a little pepper in. Dude. Stir it up. He just keeps flavoring it. It makes me worried about it. No, what... no, it's delicious. Okay, I'm okay. just trying to maximize its delicious. Okay, cool. So it's a layer of stuffing, a layer of pasta, and a layer of cheese. And then we're gonna have another layer of stuffing on top. <laughs> So a little more parsley on top. There he goes with the parsley again. Is there any temptation to throw a little more cheese on top? Doesn't it feel like it shouldn't end with stuffing? One more egg. No. One more no. egg. No. One no more eggs. eggs. How about just a little bit? Okay. Echo set timer, 30 minutes. We'll see you instantaneously. Yes. I've got my false graph trivets out and a false graph plate. I rarely bring these trivets out. I like them quite a lot. Trivets. Well, what do you think? It looks pretty good. Yeah? The stuffing is a little dry looking? Yep, that's the point. Okay. We want that crispiness of the stuffing. Okay. I guess I should be a little bit skeptical in general of the entire concept because I don't like breadcrumbs. Yeah, and these are just large breadcrumbs. <laughs> Thank you for your expressing your doubt so late in the process. Try a little bit of the topping. Mm -hmm. Nice and crispy. Matt, do you want to get in? It is an excellent stuffing and a pretty good mac. The fiery cabot adds an awful lot of spice. Mm. I don't think it has too much though. Not too much of a kick that it's unpleasant. Yeah, it's very interesting because because the mac by itself is really yummy and the stuffing by itself is really yummy. Yeah. 
So then the only thing left to evaluate is how it goes together. I think they're compatible flavors. I, and I think it goes together in the way that most people enjoy crackers with Mac. Yes, I think that the, the topping is actually adding something to this Mac. You usually hate breadcrumbs. Why does this one get a pass? Is it because it's kind of moist? It's because it's softer. It's not working against the Mac. It's not drying it out. I actually think people would really like this. Yeah, it's unique. A little gravy might actually be nice to kind of soften up that top a little bit. Is anybody getting the chicken? Very low note of it. I think it's a super good stuffing. Yep. With some gravy, that would be great at Thanksgiving. I think it's a really good Mac. And I think it's interesting, fun, creative to put them together. Yes. It's not like that stupid eggnog Mac where it was just <laughs> downright terrible. Yeah, we had to put wing sauce on it. Everything yeah. Put wing sauce. <laughs> Crying. You don't need to put any wing sauce on this, it's no. fine. No, we're not emergency wing sauce yeah, we're not. I'm not going for ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> well, have yourself a happy Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know it's tough this year. Uh, stay safe, stay legal. Maybe you'll see us on Black Friday. Maybe. We'll have to see what we can do. What's open? We don't know. Every time.